Here is a result that involves covariances. If x and y are random variables with finite population variances and covariance, then the variance of x plus y is the variance of x plus the variance of y plus twice the covariance of x and y. Here is the proof starting on the left hand side, the variance of x plus y. Well, the variance operator, and this, this step will be done by the definition of the variance operator. You recall that the variance of any random variable is the expected value of that random variable minus its mean squared. So in this particular case, the variance of x plus y is the expected value of x plus y minus the mean of x plus y squared. Now if you take this expected value operator and say the expected value of a sum is the sum of the expected values and do a little bit of re rearranging here by putting x minus its expected value here and y minus its expected value here, that little bit of working with the expected value operator will get you to this step. Now at this point you can square out what we have here. So this quantity squared will be the first term squared plus the last term squared plus twice the product of the first and the last term. So that's just a little bit of algebra that is done inside the expected value operator. Finally, another property of the expected value operator is that the expected value of a sum is the sum of the expected values. So the expected value of this first term is there. The expected value of this second term is here. And pulling the constant 2 outside of the expected value operator, here is that very last term. Well, this first expected value is the definition of the variance operator. So that is the variance of x. This second term is the uh, definition of the variance of y. And finally, this last term is twice the definition of the covariance of x and y. So this is the right hand side and with these five steps we have proved the result. Here is a corollary. If instead of assuming that the random variables can be independent or dependent, if x and y are independent, then it turns out that the variance of x plus y is equal to the variance of x plus variance of y. This twice the covariance term drops out and you'll see why that is the case on the next slide.